What's up, guys? It's your girl Mia again here to do another message. I already shuffle my decks, bless my cards, and cleanse my area. So we're just gonna get right into it. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. If somebody is the wheel is turning into our favor, meaning us divine people. We're destined for greatness. You see what I'm saying? So let's see what this is talking about split the deck somebody has a lot of heavy burdens though or well, somebody has put some heavy burdens down yeah somebody's being a fool though maybe somebody is not taking a leap of faith somebody is being doing the most yeah this queen of pentacles in reverse whoever is not taking this leap of faith they broke yeah and moving forward they will be broke but somebody in this situation is moving forward what else? Hmm? Somebody is unhappy. And somebody is in love. Or somebody is very intuitive. We got a king of cups. A king of cups on the board, child. Yeah, and this is a family dynamic. This is, I get the feeling this is a relationship. And somebody is unhappy and don't want to let this relationship go. But somebody is in love and is ready to let this relationship go. Yeah. Somebody's looking back at all they invested in. And they just really looking at money. They're not looking at love. They're looking at money. These are pinnacles. What else? Thank you. Yeah. Somebody is jealous. Or somebody was being a player. And somebody wants to take action but can't. Somebody wants to apologize to someone but can't. Bottom of the deck, there's a choice that needs to be made. Or somebody's made a choice in love. Yeah. And something has ended. Something has ended. Or somebody's being blocked. Food card spirit. Tell us how this food card. Thank you. Yeah. This could mean a firm foundation. This could mean some stability. This could mean a home. And this could mean that somebody does not want to walk away. Somebody's being a fool. Somebody doesn't want somebody to walk away from a home. And I get the feeling that whoever is, is walking away, they're, they're walking away to st some stability. Something stable, a firm foundation. Yeah, somebody's in regret about something. Somebody has missed an opportunity. Somebody's bored. Yeah, look at this empress. Come on with it, child. This empress is bored. I get the feeling that this empress is in regret and don't want to miss an opportunity. But we'll find out. The food card. Yeah. Ending of a cycle. Yeah, I get the feeling somebody don't. I get the feeling whoever this person is has already walked away. And I get the feeling that this this somebody didn't want somebody to walk away from a home situation. But it's the end of a cycle. It was time for them to go. Yeah, they missed this opportunity. It was time for them to go. And they wasn't going, Spirit said they wasn't going to miss this opportunity. Yeah. A lot of things were revealed to this person. And this other this other party didn't want them to walk away. And it, it's causing them to be sad. We got the Ten of Cups and the Sun card in reverse. Somebody's real unhappy. Ten of Cups. Clarify this team. Yeah. We got the High Priestess in reverse. Somebody was overdoing that manipulation. Somebody was doing something extra behind the scenes, child, yeah? And now they can no longer be. They're very unhappy. I get the feeling that somebody is depressed. Somebody is sad about something, yeah? But they're no longer confused about this situation. Both parties are no longer confused about this situation. Ten of Cups. Clarify this King of Cups. Yeah? This, this King of Cups has blocked somebody. This King of Cups wants some stability in his life. I get the feeling that this relationship was extremely rocky. I get the feeling it was a lot of chaos, a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. And I get the feeling that this, this King of Cups walked away and blocked whoever this person was that was overdoing. Yeah, this Queen of Wands can't make this shit up. 
And high priestess in reverse, they was overdoing their manipulation and they got blocked. Yeah. They didn't want to be left out in the cold, but that's what this King of Cups did. King of Cups. Left that ass out, baby. Ow, karmic. Can't make this shit up. The karmic was blocked, y'all. The karmic has been left out. Yeah. And look at this King of Cups. This King of Cups is ready to take this off for love somewhere else. And I get the feeling this King of Cups has walked away. And wherever this wherever this King of Cups has has gone, has gone too. He's offering love there, some real love. Yeah. And this karmic is defeated. This King of Cups no longer feels defeated about this situation. This King of Cups feels as though, yes. Twin flying baby, this king of cups is no longer defeated. He's, he's going to his empress. I get the feeling that this karmic cycle for whoever this king of cups is, is completely closed. And this, this karmic is blocked now. Yeah. And whoever this king of cups is, I get the feeling that he's the snuck away to his empress. I, you know. This normally is my lying, sneaking, and cheating card. But I get the feeling that this King of Cups, he's no longer defeated about the situation. Everything has came to light. Everything has been enlightened to this King of Cups. And he snuck away to his empress. He got the hell on. King of Cups. Good for you. King of Cups. Whoever this king is, good for you. Yeah, and it's a definite ending. And he no longer feels defeated. He wanted a new beginning. He wanted a new beginning. And he knew the truth. He knew the truth. I also get another message. This karmic can never hold on. But I also get the feeling that there was a death. I get the feeling that this king of cups experienced a death. And he found out the truth about this death. And for some. And for some reason, I get the feeling that this karmic was involved in this death some way, shape, form, or fashion. Look, King of Wands. Yeah, he no longer wants to hold on. He has a lot of passion for someone else. Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Yeah. He no longer wants to be a player. He's working hard. He's working hard. And I also get the feeling that this karmic was cheating or manipulating some type of situation. And she was working hard to keep it covered up. But the truth came out. Yep, secret was revealed. This karmic was working hard to cover up a truth. And I get the feeling that it's a truth about a death, an actual death. And I get the feeling this king of cups found out the truth about this death. Yeah, some communication came through. And this King of Cups found out the truth about this death. And he communicated that to this karmic. Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Yeah. And this karmic is going to jail. You know, sometimes the justice card can mean, you know, didn't get victory in a certain situation. But I get the feeling this is an actual death. And I get the feeling that this karmic is going to jail or in jail now. Spirit say in jail now. Oh, shit. And they're not getting an offer. Yeah, this karmic is in jail now. Yeah, it's an ending. This karmic's not getting an offer. She she or he is in jail now. Knight of Wands. One more card on this Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're in an illusion. The cycle is over with. They're in an illusion. They, they're confused about it. This karmic is confused. And don't know what's going on. She still thinks. She or he how it resonates. They still think. That they can wear this mask. And nobody knows who they are. And whoever this karmic is. Does glamour spells. To get people to see them a different way. Than what they truly are. But I get the feeling that. Yes look. I get the feeling that. That glamour spell has broken. And this king of cup knows. Who his empress is now. Yeah things are balancing out. This King of Cup knows who his empress is now. Ace of Wands. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah. And this karmic is weak. This karmic is struggling. She is weak. Yeah. She wants to apologize, but she can't. She's weak. 
I get the feeling she's manipulated so many situations that she her energy is depleted. I get the feeling that not only is she weak, but she's tired. She's drained. Her soul is literally depleted. Yeah, it's an ending to a family dynamic. Yeah. A choice has been made, child. Y'all, whoever this is, if this resonates to you, a choice has been made. This King of Cups is on his way. I'm talking about literally on his way. Ace of Wands. Clarify this ace. Yeah. He's put down the heavy burdens. And whoever this karmic is, they got a lot of heavy burdens dealing with the justice system, dealing with a home life, dealing with money, dealing with stability. Oh my goodness. Dealing with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, they can no longer build. They can no longer build or can no longer collaborate with other people. They're in jail. Somebody's in jail, y'all. Yeah, this Queen of Wands can't make this shit up. Whoever this karmic is is in jail. And I get the feeling of death, an actual death, is why they're in jail. An actual death. Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. Yeah. God just stepped in. This is part of their judgment. Yes, ma'am. A death. An actual death. A karmic had a hand in somebody's actual death. Some way, somehow. And this King of Cups found out about it. And he's no he, he's no longer confused, mentally conflicted about anything anymore. Yeah, because the manipulation tactics don't work anymore. Whoever this karmic was, was, was using glamour spells. To confuse people and to make people see situations a certain way. But those those spells don't work anymore. That manipulation tactic is out the window now. And yeah, and whatever it was, it was something in the past. Something in the past that happened. And people can no longer be manipulated about this situation. And whoever this King of Cups is. He's go he he left and he's reconciled with somebody in the past. Or he's on his way to reconcile with somebody in the past. Ace of Wands. Swear by this Ace of Wands. That's the truth, baby. He is on his way to reconcile with somebody in the past. I'm talking about literally on his way. I'm talking about now. On his way. Now. What spirit? Yeah. The hair funny in reverse. It's the ending to a relationship. A job situation, some type of relationship, a marriage, or I'm getting another story, or the police is involved. The police, like I say, this karmic is, it, spirit say is in jail, is in jail. Ain't no about to go, ain't no in the spirit say this karmic is in jail now. What else, bitch? What else? Yeah. No more. This this King of Cups no longer wants to fight. No longer wants to fight. And I get the feeling that this karmic is wrapped up in a lot of chaos, confusion, arguments. A lot of... It's a lot of turbulence for this, this karmic right now. A lot going on. Yeah. And it's causing them to be sad. And when I say it's a lot... Of, a lot of commotion, a lot of, lot of, it, I see a bunch of people and it's a bunch of chatter around and a, a, it's a group of people and they're talking amongst themselves and it's just like, I cannot believe this. Yeah. And this King of Wands has left the building, baby. This King of Wands has left the, the building. What else, dude? Yeah, this karmic is, this situation with this karmic is put to rest. It's over with. It is over with, guys. If this is your story and you're still wondering if he's over over there with the karmic, he is no longer over there with the karmic. Spirit say he is no longer over with the karmic. That cycle has been closed, but this karmic has been manipulating the situation. And God has stepped in and called judgment, baby. It's over with. No more delays. No more delays, yeah. The, there's been an investigation. 
And somebody did their research, baby. Yeah, look, I can't make this shit up. This is doing research. This is like the investigation card, child. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody has did their research and opened and an investigation took place. And somebody found out about a death. And somebody went to jail. This karma's going to went to jail. I get the feeling this karma is going to be in jail for a very long time. Yeah, it's an ending to a situation or relationship. We have one, two, three, four cards that say this is an ending, y'all. This is an ending. Yes, and somebody's heartbroken. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. I don't know, Steve. Yeah, this whoever this is, this is a mother figure or a father figure. A mother or a father figure that is heartbroken because of a death. And this death was investigated by the authorities. And they found out some information and it caused this karmic to go to jail. I get the feeling this is a karmic feminine that has went to jail. I get the feeling this is a karmic feminine. What else, bitch? Yeah, and now this King of Cups is ready to offer some love. Yeah. He no longer wants to build with that karmic. He walked away and he's realized he no longer wants to build with that karmic. He's walked away. That is over with, baby. For sure over with. Yeah. And he's sad. I get the feeling he's sad. Yeah. I get the feeling that right now he's sad and he's going through some things. And he feel like he wasted some time. And I feel like, you know, he felt like he missed out on something over here dealing with this karmic. And I get the feeling he's looking back on all he's invested in with that particular person. And it's just like, man, did I not waste some time? But that was destined to happen. The wheel is turning. That was destined to happen. Masculine, whoever you are, you were destined to go through this situation the way you went through it. You know? And I get the feeling that this journey that you've been walking been extremely hard, but the ending is here and it's nothing but good things from here on out. Yeah. Whoever this, this, this masculine is, he lost out on a lot. He lost out on money. He lost out on just a lot of materialistic things, but it's going to get better. Don't worry about money or that materialistic thing, because let me tell you something about the way God works. He's seen you through with the teacher that listen. Because sometimes masculine energies need to learn a, the lesson a, a hard way. You know, more than, you know, a little harder than the feminine. But once you learn that lesson, he blesses you. He blesses you with so much, you can't even believe it sometimes. So, whoever this masculine energy is, if this is you, pick your head up, baby. Keep it moving and go the way you need to go. Yeah, he's no longer giving this karmic anything, though. He's no longer giving this karmic anything. Yes. He's no longer being equal with this karmic. He's no longer giving this mother figure anything. Yeah. And it's a harsh, painful ending. It's a harsh, painful ending. And I also get another story. I get... I get that this masculine energy... There was a death involved. And this masculine energy found out the reason behind that death some way shape or form and i get through a dream you know what i'm saying and whoever whatever this masculine found out he found out something about his mother and it was a harsh painful ending for his mother but he's dealing with it everything is fine yeah that's his mom yeah he didn't think about his mom that way but i get the feeling that in a dream it came to him about what actually happened with a death and his mother was involved somehow. And he feels some type of way about it. And that's what got him saved. Because his, his mother, his actual mother was involved in this. Yeah. And I get the feeling that this mother figure is pissed about it. Yeah. She's pissed that he no longer wants to offer her love. He no longer wants to come together with her and celebrate any, anymore because he realized who his mother is and what his mother has done. Let me tell y'all something. Just because people are y'all mother or y'all father does not mean that they can't be a karmic in your life. You know, so take it 
says it resonates. But if God is showing you something about your mother and telling you to walk away from your mother, walk away. Just walk away. Just do what needs to be done and walk away. Because that mother figure was in your life for a reason anyway. I get the feeling that this mother figure put this masculine through a lot growing up anyway. You know, I get the feeling that this mother figure didn't show this masculine the proper love or a certain type of love the way she should have shown it anyway. What else, spirit? Yeah. And this mother figure is is pissed off because it's an ended to her family dynamic. For some reason, keeping her son stuck in a certain situation was kind of fulfilling to her. And now she's not getting that fulfillment. And it's an ending to this a certain situation. And now she's pissed. Because this mother figure played a role in manipulating this masculine. This mother figure, spirit say this mother figure, yeah, she can no longer hold on. She played a role with this karmic in manipulating a certain situation. And y'all, spirit want me to, wants me to say this. So I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it. But whoever this mother figure is. That was involved about in a death, some way, shape, or form. Th this mother figure, when that karma come back around, this mother figure is going to pass. Mother or father figure, take it how it resonates. But this mother or father figure, they're going to pass. I'm sorry to say that, guys, but they're going to pass. Yeah. And it's an end to a family dynamic. And this mother figure is crying her eyes out. I'm talking about crying. I'm talking about can't sleep, can't eat, worried. And this mother figure is worried because she overdid her manipulation. And she had a hand in a death, some way, shape, form, or fashion. And this mother figure knows that that's what's about to happen to her. This mother figure also knows that death is on the way for her. Child. And it's coming. Oh Lord! It's been communicated quick to her. It has been communicated to, to this mother figure that a death is on the way for her. And I get the feeling that this mother figure is struggling with being sick. And not only is this mother figure sick, but this karmic sick, and a high priestess is sick of a, a practitioner. I get the feeling that this mother figure, this karmic and a practitioner, three people assisted in manipulating this masculine some way, shape, form. And this masculine has walked away from all of the parties. This masculine has walked away from a mother figure and a karmic because he found out what, what is actually going on. He found out that they enlisted somebody to manipulate a situation to keep him stuck wherever he was stuck in. And now that this masculine has walked away, this masculine has broken this manipulation tactic. This masculine has walked away from it. So, this masculine, this mother figure, she didn't want you to walk away because she knew that death was coming for her if she if you walked away from whatever situation she was helping manipulate. This karmic knew if you walked away from her, whatever, whenever you walked away, jail time was for her. And this high priestess, this practitioner uh, told both of them that once you walked away, not only is this mother figure going to pass, but this high priestess is also going to pass. Oh my God, this deep, y'all. Yes, and this is going to happen quick. This is going to happen quick because I get the feeling that this masculine left quickly. This masculine just, I'm talking about bonked out, yeah, because he realized they were there was no love being shown from his mother, his actual mother, and this actual Carmen. And he got, he got the information Somehow that his mother and his karmic were both dealing with a practitioner doing some type of manipulation, some type of magic to keep him stuck in the situation he was in. But he's no longer confused about this. This mother figure is sad. She's trying to offer love, but she's sad because she's not getting anywhere with him. It's an end to a family dynamic. He's walked away. He's completely walked away from his mother figure, baby, and this karmic. If y'all watching this, baby, y'all did the most, child. She, yeah. 
secrets been revealed. But that was destined to happen that way. Masculine, if you're watching this, the secret has been revealed. It was destined for you to walk away from your mom. It was destined for you to walk away from your mom. The secret has been revealed. They were behind the scenes doing things. They were manipulating the situation with a practitioner. They were actually... They were actually putting some type of spell work on you. Yeah. And now they can no longer hold on. But this was destined to happen for your mother. Your mother has been dabbling in this for quite some time now. Behind the scenes. This is something you didn't know about. And I get the feeling that it came to you in a dream. And, and, and God revealed a lot of things to you. Because judgment card. God stepped in and revealed a lot of things to you about this karmic and your mother. And both of them were on the same side working against you. Good for you, masculine. Whoever this masculine is that walked away, yeah. And both of them are crying. Number one, they're crying because they can no longer keep you stuck. Spirits say that's the real reason they're crying. They can no longer keep you stuck. And it's an ending to a family dynamic. And they're also crying because one is about to die. I hate to say it, y'all, but that's what Spirit told me to say. One is about to die and one is in jail right now. And this mother figure... Knows that this karmic is in jail. This mother figure knows this karmic is in jail. So she knows what's next for her. She knows, yeah? A harsh, painful ending. She's trying to make sure, she's trying to make like everything is fine. But this mother knows that now that this karmic is in jail, here come this karma. This That God has stepped in and started issuing out karma. And she knows what her karma is for dealing with this situation. For having a hand in this situation. What else, spirit? What else? Yeah, this mother figure is also struggling with money and struggling with staying grounded and struggling with her stability. She's no longer getting anything. Yeah, and she's struggling with, with this tower that's about to hit. She's struggling with death being on her side because she is sick right now. The mother figure and this practitioner is sick right now. A physical sickness right now. And this masculine, once this masculine walks away, and goes to his true love or soulmate. Yeah, they can no longer hold on. Once this masculine walks away and goes where God tells him to go, not only is this mother figure going to pass, but this high priestess is going to pass as well. Yeah, they can no longer be sneaky. They can no longer manipulate this situation, baby. God has stepped in and he's not allowing. Yes, he's not allowing it. The, 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 what? The, they were all over this masculine, trying to control this masculine, but this masculine did the research and found out what was truly going on behind the scenes. What was truly going on behind the scenes, yeah? And now this masculine is grounded. This masculine is 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 is, is balancing himself out. This masculine is is getting himself into a position where he he's, you know. Where he's balancing out. Spirits say mind, body, and soul are coming together. Good for you, masculine. Whoever this is, I'm proud of you. Yeah, he got the clarity of all the parties involved. He's got the clarity of what he needs to do and where he needs to go. This masculine is on his way out. And these, this third party, this practitioner, this karmic, and his mother, their, their wishes are not being fulfilled. And this masculine knows this. this mas I get the feeling this masculine is like shocked about his mama. When I say shocked, I'm talking about like, what the fuck? Yeah. And he's no longer sad. All this, spirit say, took place in the past. Spirit say, it took place in the past two to four months. I mean, two to four weeks. Or it could have been two to four months. I said it. Two to four weeks, though, is what I'm hearing. And now he's no longer sad. I get the feeling that now he's grounded. The cycle was over two to four weeks ago. I say the cycle was over two to four weeks ago. And this masculine found out about his mom, this karmic, and what they had plotting up. And he found out that they were performing some type of real voodoo magic on him. And I get the feeling that once all this came out, this masculine just burned out. This masculine got the fuck quick, fast, and in a hurry. And when he left, he went and grounded himself. He went out. He spent some time alone and went and grounded himself. He went and got his mind, body, and soul together. And I get the feeling that he knew that was what needed to take place. Yeah. And these, 
this mother and this Carmen, they're upset. They're they're actually depressed because they're yeah. They're actually depressed because their investment is not coming in. I get the feeling that this mother and this karmic together has spent a lot of money. A lot, y'all. I'm seeing a bunch of zeros, a bunch of com commas. Spirit is showing me a bunch of zeros. They spent a lot of money. And spirit say, this, for some of you, this doesn't have to be the actual mother figure. For some of you, this could be an aunt. This could be a aunt teamed up with the Carmen. Wow. And this masculine found out that this aunt or this family member, a feminine family member and this Carmen been plotting up against him for quite some time. And I get the feeling that he's shocked about if this is, this is either a mother or auntie or some type of feminine, a sister spirit say could be a sister. And I get the feeling that he's shocked about all this. Like, oh my God. Like, I, like he couldn't believe it at first. But one thing about this masculine is, he believes God. I understand this my mama. I understand this my aunt. I understand this my sister. But I'm going to trust God before I trust him. Good for you, masculine. Good for you. What else, bitch? What else? Look, I can't make this shit up. God stepped in. And this masculine said, now, wait a minute. Are you for real? And God say, yeah, I'm for real. I'm showing this to you. So this masculine, he trusts his, look, can't make this shit up. He trusts the information that came to him from God. He did some investigation. God stepped in. Because this masculine was investigating the situation, wanting to find out the truth. He did some investigation. He went to God and asked God for the answers. Asked God to show him who XYZ was or what this situation was all about. Because I get the feeling that whatever this situation was he was dealing with, it got to the point to where it was so heavy and so toxic and so much was going on. He was like he just couldn't take it. And he didn't know what was going on. But... He was so confused about the situation. And masculine, if this resonates for you, you were confused because you had two people or more than two people, Spirit say, at least three people performing some type of work on you to keep you confused and stuck. You had a practitioner, someone who's used to doing this, someone who's skilled at this, doing work behind the scenes with this karmic and this mother figure, this aunt or this sister. And this mother figure, this aunt, this sister, and this karmic, they played a role in this. This practitioner also had them doing specific things to you or around you to keep you stuck in a, a specific situation, man. That's fucked up. Yes, I can't make this shit up. All three of them. All three of them. And I get the feeling that one of them was putting something in your drink. One of them... This practitioner actually performed a ritual. And I get the feeling that this mother figure of this aunt, I get the feeling that you went around them. And they also offered you something, either in your food or in your drink. I get the feeling that this mother, this aunt, or this sister put something in your food. But this karmic put something in your drink. And this practitioner was behind the scenes performing a ritual in order to keep this up that they had to, they had to give you something, whatever this concoction was that this practitioner came up with, you had to keep ingesting it. Look, not only do we have cups here, but what under this mother figure card, we have cups here. This mother figure was offering you something as well. In the cup, or in, I'm seeing a I'm seeing a plate and a cup is what spirit is showing me. The vision I got is a plate or in a cup. So either this mother, aunt, or sister was uh, giving you something to drink, or giving you something to eat. And this karmic as well. Spirit said this karmic as well was either giving you something to drink or giving you something to eat. And that's how they were keeping up with keeping you confused. Yes. Yes, but they can no longer do that now. You walked away from all of them and they can no longer do that now. Good for you, Master.
Yes, you ended all those relationships. You've ended all those relationships. Up to three relationships. As I said three relationships, but I knew you you don't know this practitioner. Because this practitioner is behind the scenes and that's who this mother figure or and this karmic went to. But what I'm getting is you ended all three of these relationships. I get the feeling you ended a relationship with a karmic, a mother slash aunt figure, and a sister. Yeah, you're no longer offering them anything. Not even a small offer. Yes, it's there's no movement forward with it. Whatever information you got about these three, you were so shocked about this shit. You were so like, what the fuck? And you had to take a minute to e evaluate this situation. And once you realized you saw what you saw or you knew what you knew, you went to God and God revealed it to you in a dream. What else, bitch? What else? Let me tell y'all something. When y'all go to God and ask him for an answer and he reveals something to y'all, you better believe it. He don't play no games. Yeah, they can no longer hold on. They can no longer hold on to you. All those relationships has, has, has ended. Yes. You no longer want to deal with them. They were all the... All three of those people were actually... Spirit say it was actually all three of those people. They were actually assisting and keeping you stuck in a situation. Look, three of pentacles. I can't make this shit up. And all three of them can no longer be. All three of them are going through karma. And all three of them, baby, it's about to go down for all three of them. Because God saw it. He came and revealed to you what he knew. Because God see all and know all. And the minute you walked away, baby... Child, when I say he's a step in and he's issuing they ass out something, he's issuing they ass out something. So whoever this whoever this resonates for, whatever masculine energy this resonates for, baby, let me tell you something. Keep it moving. God got your back. He he finna wrap their ass up. He already listen. I can't make this shit up. It's gonna be a harsh pain for ending for all three of them. all of them that played this fucked up guy. Watch how fucked up they finna be. I look at all these car spirits. They take them though. Yeah, because they overdid. Look, and they fell on the judgment card. God, God revealed this to you. They overdid their control. They did way too much behind the scene. God said you blocked them though. God said you blocked them. And now you're being defensive against them. And God said that they're being defensive, trying to make you feel like they did not do this. Masculine, if this you and these parties, these three parties are trying to act as though that's not what they did. They would never do that. They lying. Yes. They don't want you to go and offer love where you're supposed to go. This practitioner checked into you for this mother figure, aunt figure, or sister. Definitely this karmic was involved with this. Checked into you and realized that you were destined to go somewhere else and be with somebody else. And this karmic did not want to let you go. So this karmic placed a glamour spell on your family members. And made them look at her a certain way and abide and, and jump on board in, in so many words. on In what she had going on. She had them under her spell. Which caused them to work with her and help put you under a spell. But I get the feeling that your family members are waking up from this. Your family members have realized what this karmic has done. But your family members also assisted this karmic in doing this. So they will get that karma for this. Yes, they're weak. They're weak now. And once you go where you need to go and offer this love where you're going to offer this love, it's... It is lights out. And I don't mean that literally. I mean that God is going to step in and shut some shit down in their they life. This practitioner is going to die. This mother figure, aunt figure, this sister, one of those, they're going to die as well. I hate to say it, but that's what spirit wants me to relate. As soon as you get to where you need to go and offer love, they're weak. They're already weak because you walked away. But as soon as you offer love to who you're supposed to offer love to, who they've been trying to stop you from getting to, as soon as you offer, yes, you walked away. I'm telling you, as soon as you walked away, they became weak. As soon as you walked away, they became weak. 
And whenever you make it to where the end of your journey, whenever you make it to the end of your journey and offer love where love is supposed to go, some somebody, spirits say two of the parties involved are going to die. But that's their karma. Yeah, their investments are not coming in. They're weak. They're going through some things. They're, each party is broke. No longer will have any money. Just as soon as you offer this love, you're going to have everything you want. I get the feeling masculine. Your money has been funny. And the reason your money has been funny is because they, this karmic, your mother, your aunt, your sister have been working against you to keep you broke so that you will not go anywhere. But just as soon as you go where God needs you to go, you get all that back times 10, baby. If they took a million from you, you get 10 million back. So go on, go where you got to go, baby. She, yes. Because they're broke now. Now that you've walked away from them, they're weak and they're broke. And there's nothing that they can do. And all type of shit is going on in their life. They got all type of motherfucking trouble. Yes, because they was being a player. They're weak. I can't make this shit up. They're weak because they were being a player in this situation. Your aunt, your sister, your mom, they were helping this karmic. Do you hear me? They were helping this karmic. And now they're weak. Now their money's funny. And they know why shit is going on in their life. They know why their money is funny. They know why they're struggling now because of this karmic. I get the feeling that all these glamour spells broke at once. And everybody woke up to what this karmic was doing. This karmic had your family under a glamour spell. This karmic had your family under some type of, of, of spell that had them confused as well. And whatever this spell was, she was convincing this, this aunt, mother, or sister to put something in your food or to put something in your drink to keep you stuck. But that's what she did to them to get them to do what she needed them to do. Ain't that about a bitch? No longer could keep you stuck. No longer can lie, sneak, and cheat now. She done pulled the wool over their eyes so that they could pull the wool over your eyes. That's a fucked up karma. Masculine, if you dealing with this fucked up karma, you, I'd be glad you walked away from it. She, yes, look, I'm revealing to you what the fuck is going on. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. But masculine, once you walk away, and you have, but once you get to where you need to be and offer love where you need to offer love at, you're going to be the happiest man on this earth. Do you hear me? I know you feel some type of way because this is your family. And I know you, you're worried about going to where you need to go and this person manipulating you. Where you're going, God is not going to allow that. Where God is sending you. If God is sending you somewhere, you don't have to worry about none of it. God is sending you somewhere where you're going to be protected, loved, and you're going to get what's due to you. That's why he's revealing to you where you are now. You do not have to worry about that wherever you're going because this is where God has you set up it. So none of that will take place. None of that. So you may be taking your time getting there because you feel some type of way about how you was manipulated in this last situation. And you think that where you're going, there's a possibility you can be manipulated that way. No, sir. That will never happen. Yes, never happen. You're no longer stuck. They are stuck now. One of these karmics is going to jail. One of these karmic spirits say no, Mia. They're in jail. If this resonates to you, one of these people are in jail. Yes. Yes. And you need to go and communicate to whoever this feminine energy is that you love. Because you actually love this person. You're a little nervous because of what you just went through. But you actually love this person. And deep down you know you can trust this person. And you know this person would never do you like that. Spirit say you know. That this person that you're going to. Is actually loving. Caring. And does not play any games like that. You've dealt with this person before. You actually know this person. And you do not have to worry about. This person doing it. And you know that. Yeah. And you're not giving an offer to any of these other people. That, yeah, these other people didn't show you any love and didn't offer you anything. But you know where your happiness is. You know. Spirit say you know where your happiness is. Yeah. And you, you know that where you were, it was a lot of conflict, confusion. It was like 
you just felt off at times. You felt like something was wrong, but you didn't know exactly what was wrong. But now you know what's wrong. Now you know that you were being manipulated in this situation. Yes, and now you're going to take action. I get the feeling that now you're going to take action. Because you you love whoever this person is you're going to. You actually love you actually love this person. And you you've actually healed from whatever this situation was with this karmic and these family members. You've actually healed from this. And you're happy now. Because you know where you, you should be at and you have no doubt in your mind about where you should be going. And you're going to communicate with this person. And I get the feeling that you're going to communicate here soon. Extremely soon. Yeah, you're taking action. Yeah. And these these people that you left behind, they're broke and they're finna go through some things. God has already taken all their money. I'm telling you that now. God has already taken all their money. Yes. Because they were being a player in this situation and they did not show you any love. God has already stripped them of all their money. Yes. I'm telling you, yes, that's part of their karma. I cannot make this shit up. God has already stripped them of all their money. And he's about, he's working on taking their uh, materialistic things too. So uh, these family members that was up and, and had it all and doing all this, this karmic that was boasting and bragging about she got this and got that and being flashy, baby. It's a rap file, Lee. They play the game if they want to. Look, can't make this shit up. I told you they got a lot of heavy burdens. They got a lot of issues going on. It's a lot of struggles. Bills piling up. I mean, I'm talking about some issues. You hear me? And these karmics are having issues on the job too. These karmics are about to lose their job. And I get the feeling that all parties involved are finna lose their job. Not just one. All parties involved are losing their job. Every last one of them. Yeah. No longer are being offered anything. All parties involved are losing their job. Mother, aunt, sister, karmic, practitioner. This practitioner is down sick. It's hell, spirit say. And just as soon as you come together with your empress. This is a twin flame. As soon as you come together with your empress, this practitioner is dead like this. The day you get with your empress is the day she dies. Child, if that ain't some deep shit. If that ain't some deep shit. I'm trying to tell you. Yes. And I get the feeling that you're determined to get over there. And I get the feeling that you're on your way. Spirit say look at the bottom of the uh, car. Yes. And I get the feeling that whoever this, for some of you masculines, you... You found out some information about a baby. For some of you masculines, I get the feeling that you found out about your empress being pregnant. Some way, shape, form. I get the feeling you found that out. Yeah. And you, and you feel defeated. You feel like... A, you feel like... All these parties involved, this practitioner uh, let them know that you were destined to have a baby with this person. And I get the feeling that you found that information out. And you found out that you would, and you felt defeated because you felt as though this was something that you wanted. This baby was wish fulfillment for you. So you felt defeated about it. But I get the feeling that God showed you that you, you didn't get defeated. That, that your empress is pregnant. Or is about, or will get pregnant when y'all get together. Or is about to have a baby or doesn't have a baby for you. What else, spirit? What else? Yeah, whoever these were, yeah, you know they didn't show you love. You you found out that they knew that you were destined to have a baby. And this is something that you want, and they knew that. They knew that once you got with this empress and had this baby and found out she was pregnant, when I, they knew you would go that way. And that's the way you were supposed to go. And I get the feeling that this empress is pregnant. Spirit say this empress is pregnant. And for some of you, this empress has not communicated to you that, that she's pregnant. Some of you, this is this was shown in a dream that your empress was pregnant. Yeah. And that you got justice. Yeah. It was revealed. Spirit bumped the star. The, uh, yeah. I get the feeling that it was revealed to you that you got justice. Your empress is pregnant. I get the feeling that this empress hasn't told you this. Whoever this feminine NG is, she hasn't told you this because she knows what you're going through. This this, this empress is intuitive. This empress is an, an 
A high priestess is psychic. And she knows what you're going through. And it's been revealed that you got justice with this baby. Some way, shape, form. And I, I get the feeling that God then opened up your eyes in a dream. And showed you not only who you were dealing with. And who was in your who was in the background performing work on you. But he also showed you that they knew you were supposed to have this baby. And now that you've got justice with this baby. They know you got justice with this baby. They know just as well as you know that this empress is pregnant. Yeah. And they know they're not getting an offer. They know this empress is pregnant, child. Now the hell they know she's pregnant. And you, she, she ain't even told you she was pregnant. Yeah. They're having sleep this night. All of them. All parties involved are having sleep this night. Anxiety, stress, worry. Oh, they're about to lose their mind. Yeah. Because they're being left out. They're being left out in the cold. Just, just like you got dreams and was alerted to what was going on. This high priestess, this practitioner alerted all parties involved what was going on. This practitioner alerted all parties involved that this empress was pregnant. This practitioner has told that this empress was pregnant, that this empress got justice. So these parties involved, they know what's next to come. They know what's the next step because this practitioner has alerted them. This practitioner also knows she's dead. I hate to say it like that, but that's what Spirit says. She knows that now that these twins have got justice, it's over with for her. She can no longer perform any work. Child. Look, this high priest, I'm, I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. Bottom of the deck. This high priestess is going through a bunch of conflict and confusion, baby. This, a bunch of arguments, a bunch of fights, a bunch of struggle. And she's fighting with this karmic and these other parties about, hey, you said this would happen. We paid you all this money for this to happen. And, and something else happened. And this practitioner uh, let them know, look, I'm trying to tell y'all, X, Y, Z. Y'all had to do y'all part as well. But this practitioner also let them know that this is something that God said was going to happen. There's nothing we can do. This practitioner actually, when she found out that this empress was pregnant, this practitioner actually performed some magic or performed the ritual to balance out this situation. This practitioner actually did a reversal, hit a reversal so that she could try to protect herself. And balance things out. She didn't do nothing to protect these this karmic or these other parties involved. She did something because she could protect herself because she got in, in, in involved in a twin flame. Something that God said was going to happen. And she knew what was coming to her for messing with a twin flame death. She know what's coming to her. So what she did was she performed a ritual to balance things out. And to actually fix this masculine. To actually take away his worry, stress, his pain, his anxiety. And actually give it to these karmics involved in this situation. So that's why these karmics involved now have this stress, worry, anxiety. Have all this conflict and confusion going on in their life. Because what they don't know is this practitioner... She hit a reversal on their ass to protect herself and to send that shit back to them. But this practitioner knew, didn't know that, baby, ain't no reversal you can do or protection spell you can do on yourself that's going to stop you from getting your karma too. You see what I'm saying? But she flipped the script on these. Now, they were going paying her to put this shit on this masculine. But look how the tables have turned. When she found out this masculine was a twin flame and she knew her ass was in trouble by God, she hit a reversal to balance things out. Because that's what you have to do. You have to balance things out. Although this masculine and this feminine are already balanced out, she hit a reversal to balance them out and sent this shit back to this, <laughs> sent this shit back to this karmic and, <laughs> and this mother and this sister and this aunt. Yes, indeed. And now they're depressed. Now they're feeling everything they sent to this masculine, every feeling they wanted this masculine to feel stuck, depressed, sad, all that. Now they're feeling all that. How y'all like them motherfucking marbles? How y'all like that shit? Show y'all how, how y'all was making him feel. How y'all like that shit? Yeah. And they can no longer hold on. No longer hold on to not only this masculine, but nothing. You can no longer hold on to nothing, karmics. How y'all like that shit? Running around here playing that hocus pocus type shit. Look, I can't make this shit up, y'all. This masculine is healed. This masculine is fucking healed. And this practitioner helped heal him. Because she knew 
If she didn't do something to balance this out, she was going to die a very painful death. But spirit say she's still going to die. <laughs> this masculine to him though. Yes, and he's taking action. Baby, if y'all don't get y'all life, whoever you are masculine, you, you got it going on, baby. Yes, keep doing what you're doing. Go, go on over there to where your pregnant, 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 pregnant feminine is. You got justice in that situation, baby. Go on over there and things are finna work out. And every all these other parties involved, go on forgive them. Masculine, make sure you forgive them now. Don't hold no grudge. Don't worry about that shit. Forgive them. Because when you forgive them, their karma comes real quick then. Especially when you walk away and offer your love to your pregnant fem and your baby. So masculine, if this resonates for you, boo, congratulations on the baby, number one. Number two, forgive these fools because they didn't know what they was doing. They finna know what they doing because God hit now and he done stepped in. And this practitioner, she being ex out. Do you hear what I'm saying? This practitioner, as soon as you get with your film, she did. Ow. <laughs> she got to go. You know what I'm saying? You got justice with your, your you got justice with this film. You're pregnant. That's why this practitioner is sick. And that's why she will be sick until you go over there with your film and your baby. So whoever this masculine is, baby, keep on moving forward. I see you're taking action now. Look at it. I can't make this shit up. Look, tower moment. Look, I cannot make this shit up. Tower moment for these karmics. Your family members and this practitioner. Tower moment for them. Harsh pain for ending. Do you hear me? As soon as you take action and go to your film. Whoever this resonates for, baby, stay on your path. You almost there. Go and go where you need to go so you can be rid of all this stress and all this worry. You can go somewhere and get you a peace of mind and get you some rest. This is me, the Divine Butterfly, and I'm signing out. Peace.